The man poured Washington police say through an unknown, unknown liquid on a gas station attendant is heading to trial. 12 News' Mallory Anderson is live outside of the Ozaki County Courthouse. And Mallory, a lieutenant testified this morning that he saw a crystalline substance in the water bottle that was used to assault that clerk. Yeah, Lieutenant Jeremiah Nye with the Port Washington Police Department said not only was that white substance seen inside the bottle, but that he also spotted that substance on the clerk's hair. This is surveillance video that we obtained from the SP Mart on Grand Avenue last month in Port Washington. In it, Damian Payne, who's facing multiple felonies, can be seen splashing the clerk's face with the water bottle three times. Payne claims all that was in the bottle was water. Lieutenant Nye testified today the substance in the bottle has been sent to the crime lab for testing, but those results are not back yet. I noticed that there were two white crystalline substances that were on the inside of the uh, water bottle. I also noticed uh, smaller white, uh, some type of white matter that was also inside of the, the bottle. The victim in this incident has said she felt a burning sensation and was temporarily blinded by the substance. Payne's attorney disputed that, saying she had to have been able to see in order to lock the door after Payne left the store. At the end of the hearing, Payne blurted out to the judge he doesn't believe she was hurt by the liquid. Now, Payne's lawyer did try to get his bail reduced this morning, but the judge denied that, saying that Payne is a threat to the public after making a threat and acting on it. During the testimony today, that lieutenant said that Payne had threatened the clerk previously, saying, hand to God, you have not seen the last of me, I'll be back. And then that was right before the attack. Well, Payne did come back and then splash that substance on the clerk's face. Okay, and we know Payne will be back before Judge Monday morning to enter a plea. That's when he'll be arraigned. Mallory Anderson reporting live from the Ozaki County Courthouse this morning. Mallory, thank you.